I think today I need to try and clean the car. Right, hello and welcome to Digging the Coast 365 Day 20. I could have done it like that, couldn't I? I'm hands free today. Okay, so I'm going to explain what's happening today and answer a, f a few critics questions okay because it's getting on my nipples a little bit now what I am doing is digging the course 365 365 days on 365 parts of the British coastline making 365 videos I've done that so far and I'm going to continue to do that for you, for you people who are saying, oh, it's just all museums and you're not doing any digging, can I just explain something, okay? And we'll take today as a really good example. The tide is out at four o'clock in the morning. It doesn't get light until seven o'clock in the morning. So I can't do it then. The only other time of the day I can come and metal detect on the beach is four o'clock in the afternoon. By that time, it's too late for me to edit a video in ta Basically, I'll be up until 2, 3 o'clock in the morning editing the video if I come down at 4 o'clock every day. It's not happening. Now, today I'm making a little exception. Not to dig in on, on the beach, but I've been invited somewhere, um, a very exciting field, just slightly inland, where we could find some more fantastic things like we did yesterday so that's at four o'clock so I'm gonna take you around a museum if you don't want to watch a museum don't watch my videos because my videos are going to be full of museums historic places history and metal detecting if you can't handle all them four things you're on the wrong channel buddy okay enough said Let's go to a lovely museum and then we're going to go metal detect in a field and find some Roman and medieval coins and fantastic stuff. Okay, I've come into Sheringham Museum. Now the first thing they said to me as I walked in, are you an adult or a concession? And I, I had to ask the question, what's a concession? Apparently a concession is someone who's an old age pensioner, like over 60. We've had a good laugh about it, but I was asked my age in a pub about two weeks ago because I didn't look old enough to be served. So I'm trying to concentrate on the museum now. You've got two lifeboats here, and I believe this one in particular, I don't know about this one, I think they're both from the 1930s. Very old fishing vessels used by the RNLI. The RNLI, if you don't know, Royal National Lifeboat, Lifeboat Institution, these are the lifeguards of Britain, yes. And every museum I come in, we always find the Gansey's look. I wonder if it is just this part of coastline within like, a, I don't know, two, three hundred mile coastline. Mind you, no, apparently they come from the Isle of Wight. So maybe we're going to see these around the entire coastline of Britain, I don't know. Do you have anything like this in America, guys? I should probably point out that the woman who asked if I was an old age pensioner was about 85 years old. In this part of the museum there's 11 paintings. We don't do paintings. Paintings are boring and rubbish. So let's just get on to something a little bit better than that, yeah? And here we have a lovely display of uh, long things, sharp things, blunt things and round things. I can't really tell you any more than that. It never stops fascinating me the age of things they still find nowadays. We're talking 10,000 BC, 125 million years ago, these fossils. That's from an elephant. When was the last time an elephant roamed in England? It's absolutely fascinating. 
It's very old, so I'm showing you a telescope from 1859 to 1898. Wow. I must ask you Americans, like this is a massive part of British history, the deck chair, yeah? You go onto the beach, you pay 10 pence, 20 pence and get a deck chair. Probably about two pounds now, three pounds. But we've had these for, for since Victorian times. Did you ever have them in America? I'm, I'm really interested to know. Yeah, we don't do them. We don't do them. So in one of the last videos, I showed you a bathing suit from 1910 of a man. This is a female version from 1910. It's been a long time. This huge anchor here, which is, I would guess, what, about eight foot long? They found this on the seabed, and the only thing they know about it is it's probably from between 1750 and 1950. Um, it's going to be properly cleaned, preserved, and then displayed in the museum, but they really don't know anything about it yet. Hopefully, when it's all cleaned up and examined, they can find out which ship it's from. An incredibly old boat now, 1904 to 1936. And this boat saved 58 lives. So you're not going to be able to see this properly, but can you remember when I told you about the wind farm being the biggest offshore wind farm in the world, just off the coast here? Um, whilst they was making that, they found a cannon on the seabed and here it is. Now, all the noise, it's from about 1800. It's underwater at the moment to keep it preserved. That's why it's such a foggy picture. And they think it's possibly Chinese. This is where umbrellas were repaired. Tidy up, man, it's disgusting. Look at that, no organisation at all. Here's all the gear worn by the local town crier, it was called Tony Nelson. Now abroad, you've probably never heard of a town crier, but it used to be a massive, massive thing over centuries in England. A guy who dressed up like this, had a bell, and he'd walk through the streets telling the news, he'd ring his bell and he went, oh yay, oh yay, oh yay. And then he'd tell you the day's news. That's how, you know, that was before newspapers. And they kept the tradition going. Well, it still goes today in some places, but it's very rare to see now. And here we are in the tower of the museum, which gives you a spectacular view of Sheringham. Honestly, this is the perfect place. Well, if you're a pervert, really, I'm doing this purposefully with the sun behind me. I just thought it looked quite nice on top of my hat. Um, it's time for today's charity total. The total raise for Rays of Sunshine so far is... Bing! The total raised in the last 24 hours is... Bing! So to donate to Rays of Sunshine, please click on the links in the description. Uh, diggingthecoast.com and there's a direct link to donate and you can join me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and all that stuff. I know I don't say it often enough and I'm very sorry for not doing that but I really, really do appreciate everybody's donations. What you guys are doing is absolutely fantastic making these dreams come true and I really do appreciate. And on top of that, I'd like to thank everybody who sent me personal donations. Um, in the last week, I've spent quite a few days in youth hostels rather than in my car. Because I can get in a youth hostel for like 15, 20 pounds a night and charge everything up and just sleep in comfort. Yeah, I'm sharing a room with three or four guys, but it's 10 times better than sleeping in the car. So thank you for everybody. Thank you very much for, for all you've done for me and the charity. Okay, so it's about half past four and I'm finally metal detecting today. I'd normally be editing. In fact, I've started me editing 
and then Stephen kindly rung me up and says, right, I've finished work now, he's already at it. This field has pr produced loads of Roman and Saxon and all sorts of stuff. I've never found anything Saxon. Just got a couple of hours. Um, see how I get on. I am very excited now. I've had some Red Bull. And I've got more Red Bull in my pocket. Let's just go find some Saxon, come on. So this is my first thing of interest. I don't know if you can see it. You're not going to with this camera, unfortunately. It's got like a zigzag stripe around the edge as if it's part of an old button. How old, I don't know. All I know is I'm in a Roman and a Saxon area. But I don't think it's that old. Seven or eight inches. It's coming up as like a 41 to 45, so I'm not expecting anything great. But it is a steady 41, 45, so... I don't think it's going to be complete junk. And it's not. I can see something round now. That's all I can tell you at the moment. Let's turn you around and let's have a look. Let's have a look. Ooh, something round. And it's big, big round. Can you see this? Where is it? There. The light isn't in your favour, unfortunately. But it's something very round. Oh, oh, I don't believe it. I got so excited then. Having said that, look at the shape of it. That could be something. As I say, I've never found anything Saxon, so I don't know what anything Saxon looks like. Could that be something Saxon? I don't know, it's got like a knifey shape to the end there. This could be Saxon. It could be something quite sexy. My friend will know. When I get over to Steve, he'll know if this is anything good or not. But to me, yeah, I don't think it is just a piece of rubbish wire. I think that's something special. Wait for the update when we see Steve. If it's anything good, I'm going to let you know, that's for sure. Just a few inches away from the Saxony possibly thingy, which is probably junk. It's near the surface, about one, two inches. It's here. It's in my hand. It's in this block. It's in this block, or it is this block. It's one of the two. Which is it going to be? Is it going to be the block or something in the block? Oh, it's... Okay. Um, it's part of the block. I don't think that's anything. So hard to tell, isn't it, when things are always mucky? You know... This is why I'm not really very religious, because if there was a god, I think he'd put metal in the ground in, like... You know, like a cleaning solution, not in muck. If he loved metal detectorists, he'd do us a favour and put it in some kind of cleaning fluid so that they came out looking all shiny and new. Sexy signal. Nine, ten inches. Probably made out of silver and 2,000 years old. Still in the hole. Yep. Still in the hole. I reckon it's out now. Oh, it's not out, but I'm there. Oh, I'm touching it. I'm touching it. I'm nearly touching it. It's out. It's out of the hole. It's out. It's... Ooh! Ooh! Ooh, it's here. It's here somewhere. Ooh. Ooh, it's a coin! It's a coin! We've found a coin! We've found a coin! Get in! Now then, what coin have we got? I love finding coins. Especially old coins, and it looks quite old. Oh... Mm. You know what? It, I, 
It could be a Roman coin. It really could be a Roman coin, but I can't see enough, well, I can't see any detail on it. It's Roman-esque, let's put it that way. I think I've probably found a Roman coin. If not, it's Georgian. It's at least like 1700s. So it's 300 year old or it's 2000 years old. Whichever it is, it's fantastic and I just found it. We're in this little hole which I'm lying on top of. Come on, get in. Okay, this is the kind of signal you'd leave your wife over, not even knowing what's in there. Because whatever's in here is probably better than any wife you could ever have. Certainly any I've ever had. And it's only at three inches, but it's a really nice signal. Oh, Ooh, it's something a bit strange and weird. That's, mm, it's part of a button. Can you see that? It's uh, a button in the shape of a UFO. It's got two little dots at the bottom. No idea on age on that one. Pewter would be my guess. Okay, so a little bit of a roundup of what we've got so far. Now Stephen's found this and he picked this up. And it's, it's true, if you find oysters in a field, it means Romans were here. We know Romans were here because him and his fr fr friends have found Roman coins. Now this, he agrees with me, is extremely old. He thinks Roman. Someone out there watching this video is going to be, t be able to tell me exactly what this is. Just look at the shape at the end of it. I'll put it on there so you can see. It's like a scalpel. No idea. Someone tell me what I've got there. Um, yes, that is a Georgian coin which I found. Because I could just make out his, his head there. George the... It's not the bull head, it's another George. And look what Stephen's got. Are you ready? A hammered coin. Now, we don't know who it is. Let me just turn you around, hang on. We don't know who it is. It's very worn. But it's not one of the boring Edward the First or Second. Because it's got like a shield or something on the back. So that's a really cool find. Best today. Well, apart from that, I think. But we don't know what it is. And a book clasp, Stephen says. I don't know what a book clasp is, Stephen, to be honest. Is it a book clasp? I think so, yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah. know what book clasps are. I'll take his word for it. Loving this field. I bet you're going to want to go soon, aren't you? I don't mind. You don't mind? <laughs> I've got a flash on this because I can film all through at night. <laughs> yeah, that'd be good. Last haul. A threepence. That's three pence to you foreigners. Three pence. How many sides have they got, Stephen? Twelve, is it? Twelve, I think, yeah. Twelve sided, three pence from probably about 1940, 1950. Not bad, not bad, it's my first one of the trip. Had a fantastic time, and please guys, can somebody tell me what that long, sharpy, scalpel-y thing is? Um, I haven't got time to look on all the websites and find out, but I know for a fact one of you will already know what this is. It's exciting me. I think that's very old. I've seen things like this before, and because there's been Saxon things found on this field, I'm thinking Saxon. Stephen's thinking possibly Roman, but somebody let us know. Thank you very much to Stephen. Thank you, Stephen. No problem. Um, and thank you all for watching on Digging the Coast 365. See you tomorrow. Goodbye.